Hello families! You are watching this because your child's summertime STEM camp is working with KLRU to keep the learning and fun going at home, both during the camp and for the rest of the summer. I'm Vanessa Dayton from KLRU and I'm here to talk to you about smart screen time. We know that screen time on TVs, computers, tablets, game devices, and phones goes way up in the summertime. We at KLRU and PBS produce a lot of TV and games, so part of us is happy about that. But we're also an educational network, so we want to make sure that screens are being used in ways that are, in the end, good for kids and families. We we're asking you to watch this, and at times when you see this, to stop and to talk to each other about things I'm asking you in this video. After you talk, write down your thoughts on this paper, and when you're done with that, go back to viewing again. The whole process will take about 15 minutes. When you take the complete paper back to your summer camp site, you'll receive a cool gift from us at KLRU. Are you ready? Let's start. Our first message is about knowing the difference between smart screen time and silly screen time. Kids know from a very young age the difference between smart and silly. When they're watching or playing something that makes them think and something that's just for fun. A lot of programs and games are just for fun, and that's okay. We all have some silly screen time in our lives, but we want you to be aware of what you're watching, whether it's smart or silly, and talk with your family about finding a good balance of both. So here's what I want you to do right now. In a moment, you're going to pause this and together write a list of the smart and silly programs or games that each of you watches or plays. When you're happy with your list, start play again. Ready? Pause. Welcome back. The funny thing that I have seen is that kids almost always know the silly screen time of adults, but the adults often don't know the silly screen time of kids because adults are often doing other things when kids are on the screens. Was that true for you? Now here's what I'd like for you to do. When you think about the increase in screen time in summer, what's a good balance for you as a family between smart and silly? I hear families talk about smart Monday through Thursday, silly on the weekends, or one smart and one silly. The decision is up to you, and you should talk about it. So talk, then write it down. Pause. Hi again. We're ready to talk about the next smart screen time tip. We've all seen people in screen zombie moments when they're looking at a screen and their eyes are kind of glassy. Maybe their mouth is open and they're drooling a bit. And when you try to talk to them, they don't answer or they just go, huh, but don't look at you. Science tells us that screen zombie moment is a real thing. The body and more importantly, the mind are really somewhere between being awake and being asleep. And here's what else science tells us. That screen zombie effect happens much quicker with kids than it does with adults. And it can happen any time of the day. For adults, it typically happens at night, right around when they should be going to bed anyway. We also know this, that zombie time is not the same as getting rest or being awake. It's really just lost time. And for developing brains, we're concerned about that. So here's the point where we, as a media company, may be different from every other media company in your lives. If you see a screen zombie in your house, we want you to turn the screen off. We want that person to do what's best for the body or mind and to get up and do something active, or especially at night, to head to bed and get some real sleep, not zombie sleep. I'm going to ask you to turn and talk to each other and make a family decision. What are you going to do if you see someone in the family being a screen zombie? What's something that you can all agree on beforehand because you know that that screen zombie is probably going to be a little cranky when you call him on it. But we have seen that families that establish a practice about screen zombies quickly get used to it and even appreciate the help. So turn and talk and write down your ideas. Pause. Here's the last smart screen time tip of this video. We at KLRU and in PBS are proud of the work that we do. We try very hard to make content on TV, on the web, and for smartphones and tablets that is both entertaining and smart. But you know what? We know that we don't come close to another way of learning and being entertained in terms of speed of learning, remembering new information, and its importance in the world. And that's reading. So again, we want to tell you that even though we're a media company, we know that our work isn't done until you turn us off and pick up a book, ideally every day. Summertime gives you the chance to read whatever you want. 
So now, please talk as a family on how you can make sure that every day you have the chance to pick up an amazing book that is really fun to read. Write down those notes, then hit play again. Pause. I'm almost done, so you can go back to your regularly scheduled program, or game, or book, or pillow fight. One last thing, we want to make sure that you know how to find us this summer. We are, of course, on TV, on multiple channels, depending on how you get your TV. PBS and PBS Kids are on Roku, Apple TV, and Xbox 360. KLRU.org and KLRUKids.org are on the internet and on mobile devices. There are PBS and PBS Kids apps for all different kinds. If you're wondering where to go for the best stuff for kids, I suggest you start with KLRUKids.org, where we have a lot of choices for kids of all ages, 2 to 22. Have a great summer, and don't forget to turn in that sheet for a special KLRU prize. Thanks.